Hello? Hey, hello? Check one, two. Good day, people. How are you guys doing? How's everybody feeling today? One second, let me plug in my laptop. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna snack some coffee real quick, and then I shall return. Um, in the meantime, you can uh, spend some time looking at my beautiful room. Today, I will only be streaming tabletop tapping. Is that what you call it? No, t tabletop drumming, I guess. Tabletop tapping sounds way better, though. Um, okay. Let me make sure my audio is working fine. Looks like the mic's coming through. Let's check the audio. found a really cool song today by this guy called uh, The Count and it sounds like it'd be a lot of fun to jam over so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as a warm up here I'll show you guys the tune Try to figure out what key this is in.
such a cool tune. Let's maybe find another tune to jam on. That one in particular stood out to me. <clears throat> or maybe I'll just jam on the same track again. It's not very long either. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Ooh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just throw in a synth real quick. Do a little lead action instead. Do, do, da, do, do, da. aggressive um I wonder if I could cycle through some uh, some stuff in I feel like lush would be really good for this single zone gonna do a dual keyboard some dual keyboard action um, let's see so that's channel 5 channel 3 sweet or wait did I do it the wrong way around I think this will work best Too much reverb and delay on there. Cool tune. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, not really much of a warm up, but I'm feeling pretty, pretty good right now. So, um, what have I been up to? I have been, <sighs> I've been really trying to finish this. This can't go for that track, as you guys could probably tell from the last few streams. Um. I've been 
I've been kind of focusing on on getting that as close as possible to being done. But um, I've just been having uh, some struggles on like creative direction for like the chorus. But I've, I've I think I've made some improvements to it. It's a little different. But yeah, my goal for this weekend is to finish it up. And I've had some um, some really cool ideas and creative direction to take with like the um, with the performance video. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys where the track is at right now. And hopefully that'll uh, hopefully you guys will agree that the changes are for the better. I, I think it's cooler now. Um, but yeah, we'll load the project up. Okay, so what was I doing in here? Mm, oh yeah, I was changing. One sec. What note is that? G sharp. So I'll switch this real quick. All right. So essentially, the idea that I have is um, the following. So I'm thinking like I wanna I wanna with like a, a first person GoPro head cam. I wanna record myself. Laptop in one hand. Uh, coffee in the other like maybe walking around my apartment slowly walking towards the studio and on the screen is um the um original can't go for that video playing um and so while that's playing the beginning of the track is starting and then um from there uh, i think what i want to do is like i'll have this like little uh kind of like blip or like um static noise kind of effect that'll pop in for a sec and then it'll kind of switch to me playing it um, uh, with with the vocoder and stuff and then from there um, it'll just be like um, yeah a bunch, a bunch of different like shots maybe like a variation between like first person and and like third person stuff um, and uh, like some really cool visuals and yeah I'm excited I think it's gonna be really cool so Basically, like, so I'll, sh I'll show you. Here's the just the intro, as you guys already know it. It's not very, not changed very much. So, um, one sec. I put the the phone noise there as a placeholder. So let's replace that real quick. But yeah, so you you kind of get the idea. Like the first part, I think uh, stylistically kind of fits um, that era pretty well. Like 80s, 90s. Believe it or not, that's actually an 80s tune, which is pretty crazy. It's already pretty old. Uh, but yeah, let's let's find some uh, let's find some static real quick to throw in there. Uh, telephones, cameras, clocks, bleeps. <laughs> Maybe not that. Hmm. I guess I should probably read them. Uh, saws, not really what I'm looking for. Like just like TV static is what I want. Uh, maybe in here. I guess I could just throw serum in there, maybe. Um, yeah, anyways, let me, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Uh. 
Easy, ready, willing, open line. Where do you stop or do you draw the line? You got my body, now you want my soul. Oh, forget about it, say no, go. Yeah, I can't go for that. LFO rate not trigger the I mean the automation is there strange that's what it should have done the first time I'm not sure why it didn't work um so basically what I did is instead of it going like I can't go can't go can't go um instead of that it's just doing uh the um downbeats and i think it's uh helps with the momentum a little bit i added like a little bit of a build um i kind of fixed uh, some stuff in the mix fixed the mix um the rest of the track is pretty much the same <laughs> Piano should not be low pass there, but yeah. So I'm I'm still kind of like trying to figure out what I what I want to what I'm like hearing, I suppose, in the drop. Um, um, I mean, I like the chugs and stuff, but I think... Um... I can't go, 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 go for that. I can't go, 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 Um... Um, so let's try this. I wish I could like. Actually, hold on. I think I think uh, this is what I'll do. So I'll delete this section here. I'll just copy paste this, and that way I don't lose that writing. And now I can just. So I, I wish there was a, an easy feature in Ableton that let you like save, um, like all the automation and MIDI and audio from a specific section and just take it out temporarily and then put it back in. I think maybe I don't know sessions view well enough to know how to do that, but I'm very certain that you can't do it. Uh, wouldn't you have to make clips and like put them all in here like individually or something? There should be like a a feature to just save the writing in a section of a track. Um, but yeah, anyways, so uh, let's see. Um. Okay, so on.
wonder if I could. Let's meet this. Like all, all, all these different chords because I'm trying to figure out like how I want the harmonies to accompany the writing. Um, okay, so let's get some get another um, sound that I've made that I have in my mind that I want to try out. Let's grab a compressor, throw it around here. Too static. Let's delete the automation on that. too much distortion. So quiet in the mix. Is it being sidechained that much? Um, okay, so I think maybe the first two hits. Whenever, whenever I'm playing something, I stop caring about the mix and only care about hearing what I'm playing. And so then it sounds like like I was playing those chords and it sounded like it needed to be louder. And the second I, I'm not playing it and I hear the mix, it's much easier to focus on the uh, levels. This works. I'll just copy that. Three semitones down. Wait. Alright, 
right, let's see. Cool, I, I actually, I think that does help a little bit. Um... chords I added earlier. Kinda wanna try to see what those sound like. One, two, Like some kind of impact there would be cool. Um, maybe I can grab a tail from another snare. Endlessly snare, nice. Throw that in there. Endlessly snare, throw that in there. Wait, is there anything else in that channel? No, sweet. It's weird that the Nightbot is tweeting, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's saying follow my Twitter. I feel like it shouldn't be linking to my Twitter, it should be linking to, to Nightbot's Twitter. that with these two as well. Report Nightbot for impersonation. I agree. Hmm. I feel like the second instant should be different. Alright, let's listen to this again. I really like how this, uh, th the entire intro so far I think is, is, is good. I don't think anything needs to change. Um, 
It's really just the chorus. And then once I figure out the, the drop slash chorus or whatever, after that, it's pretty much easy peasy because then um, that'll help me figure out, like, I have all the other writing already done and then I want to more or less use the same structure but with different chords and maybe some different fills in the in the second uh, second chorus. So I've got like I've got it pretty much on lockdown. So like the second this is done, um, the rest of the track should come together. It should fall into place very very easily. <laughs> Okay, that's just the same, the same bass chug. We don't need that. Maybe let's cycle through some some of my bass sounds real quick. Get some ideas going. Ah, oh, I forgot to quit out of Skype again. Somebody could have. Could have really screwed with me there. Um, what was I looking for? I think there was a specific... This is going to be way too intense, but I'm going to throw it in here anyways, just for fun. Let's get that side chain on there. Um, I'm thinking maybe. Hold on, let me do that from within the clip. sound uh, let's see have I made any sounds like that um since effects white noise laser more lasers laser slide laser slide no idea what any of this is pretty ridiculous. No, this isn't going to work. Uh, weird pluck, distorted scratch, alien growl, vowel I think, crazy synth, upriser. Um, 
I think what I'm looking for might actually I might actually be able to find it yes that's hilarious it's exactly what I'm looking for <laughs> is happening on that hit oh yeah it must be that okay Cool, but I don't think it fits. Tremolo bass. This is a pretty, pretty strange sound, but. <laughs> Sounds like some Twilight Zone uh, sound design. And then suddenly. <laughs> Alright. In case you guys can't tell, I was listening to a bunch of Noisia the last couple of days. Um, okay. I need a I need a sub to accompany that that sound. Simple saturated sub. Copy the compressor over. Hmm. I think I want some ARPs. 
I want me some ARP action. Give me some, give me some, give me some. I keep happening uh, is something something some part of my uh, APC I think is broken because it keeps randomly turning up my uh, mas master volume I'm not moving anything I think it's just like glitching out and sending random MIDI signals <laughs> Um, the reason that I like working with um, ultra wide monitor monitors, by the way, is I mean it's, it's perfect for working with timeline based software. So like, ultimately, you're just seeing more than you would otherwise. Um, I mean, the second I got it, I I knew that I was gonna like I was gonna use ultra wides to produce probably for the rest of my life. Or maybe I'll switch over to VR someday. Um, you know, I think that would be really sick. V VR da. I mean, actually, I think doesn't. I, th I think a. I think some like fairly basic version of that already exists. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but I swear I saw a video about that. Um, and not just like some. It, it was I, I, as far as I remember, it was literally a da. <clears throat> Would it be a a a, a VDA, a virtual digital audio workstation? VDA, DVA, maybe maybe digital virtual audio. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, VA is definitely catchier too. You're right. I guess if it's virtual, it already is digital, so there's no need for the D. But everybody loves the D. You gotta have the D in there. <laughs> I'm coming out with all sorts of bad jokes today. Sorry, guys. Little too abrasive. Little too abrasive. Little too abrasive.
works. Oh, the ARP. I haven't even thrown that in there yet. Let me see if it fits at all. Okay, good enough. Um, I am gonna test it in the context of the track real quick. Closer. Why is that? Yeah, there we go. see so I want the second hit to not have a chord behind it I think that's what I'm hearing Ugh, never know where to put that Thank you. 
ARP's gotta be sidechained too. Let's see. Scrap that uh, reverb idea and instead we are going to throw um, let's see we're gonna snag monophonic bass. What is this? Back to the flanger, uh, I mean, comb base thing.
Okay. Of uh, one different LFO in there. Such an aggressive sound. Um, um, too bad I can't add another filter. Let me see if I can just do this. Nah, I don't like how that sounds. Um, where's the is that? Okay. However, I do think maybe something like that could work. What is this? Oh, I can get rid of that. Whoops, not a MIDI track. There's some audio in there. Oh, side chain. At this point, I'll get rid of these guys. Okay, and then I'll copy all this over. And now I need to work on the writing here just a little bit. I guess we can just copy everything over for now and then see how to change it. Okay. 
So since this portion has even more kind of harmonic action, I think I want to free up those. Some of the some of the space that's occupied by the bass sounds should be um, there should be room for uh wait what I totally forgot what I was saying um <laughs> some of the space that the the bass sounds were occupying I think uh don't don't really uh, clash a little bit with the uh, the additional like vocoder harmonies. <laughs> sound there as well. kick hit at the end there. Okay, so now all right, let's let's check let's check out the track again from the beginning. Do you draw 
So, <clears throat> I'm going to switch those drums out for, like, the, um, the chorus. I can go for being twice as nice. I can go for repeating the same old lines. You want the body, now you want my soul. listen to that uh, again I'm trying to figure out like it's it's better I'm, I'm liking the direction there's just something there's still something I'm I'm thinking I want to change <laughs> okay so I think uh what is this? thing that I'm potentially wanting to change is uh, this sound right here. Not a hundred percent sure. But let's see. I got this bass sound that I engineered. Thick pluck. Let's 
So that's the pluck I was using in the original writing a while back. Let's see. Hold on. any uh pitch automation in this there is envelope three Closer. sound like on the first snare head.
Um. Okay, let's get rid of some of that. It's a little too extreme. There we go. What is automating this? Let's cycle through some of these. I think this is definitely closer to what I'm imagining. see so um, I'm pretty happy with how that's sounding uh, so now what I want to do is I wanna copy over the writing did I have I not eaten yet Shh. damn it I just realized I haven't eaten yet today I'm getting really hungry <laughs> it might be time to throw a pizza in the oven um, one sec I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the song and turn on the oven Now you want my soul 
forget about it, say it go. go. Yeah, I can't go for that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, um, so I have I have uh, this uh, second chorus here, and looks like I carried everything over. Um, what I need to do is change the writing to fit the. To fit the chord progression of the second second chorus. A flat major. Then we'll throw that over here. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll copy the drums. So here. Then okay. So you got the chords. Um, sweet. So then I can repeat that. Okay, so now I need to change the bass. is A, F. Cool. Now we can copy that over. And then we'll do the same with these guys. It's kind of annoying to listen to, but it's the fastest way of doing this. So we change to A as well. Copy that up here. Let's see what else we got left. We got these guys. Yep. Now we can copy those over. Sweet. I don't think there's much left. There's, I think. Okay, so that guy's metered anyways. That's not being used. So let's see. How close did I get? Ah, uh, close, but this guy. Sharp, that's why. That's the chord that I wanted. All right.
Oh, wait, we got another sub? Thank you. Um, one sec. Silver Skies music? Thanks for subbing, man. I appreciate it. Sorry if I didn't, uh, didn't see it until now. Alright. Um, so snare fill. over That's the ending. I changed my mind. I didn't want the original lyrics at the end after all. Okay. Um, I think this is pretty damn close. Um, Five, six, okay. Add the seven as well. All right, let's listen to it. You got my body, now you walk my soul. 
sample it's a kick that I made forty three mid schmids I can open up the uh the file if you'd like forty three It's got three layers. It's got this oscillator and this layer and this layer. And some EQing. Very subtle though. can't decide if I want it. Well, 
What the heck? Oh, I forgot. I have this weird LFO shape. In case you guys can't tell, I kind of miss using Massive a little bit. <laughs> I wish there was a stepper function still in, uh, in Serum. That'd be nice. I kind of miss that a little bit. Not that I magically can't use ma uh, Massive anymore, but obviously I prefer Serum. Uh, I can never decide if I want it to be uh, eighth or quarters. I like that a little bit better. Unfortunately, today I have to end right at 3. Um, I got some stuff going on. But I, I'm going to end the stream, I think, with uh, trying to perform the, the, the track. Copy the thump over. What about the tail? There we go. I think, honestly, I think that uh, really intense, like, little bass doesn't really have as much of a place in this with this writing.
feel how close I am to finishing this. It's awesome. Legitimately the first time in like a year and a half that I am pretty close to wrapping a track up. <laughs> 24 hours streaming Monday? That'd be fun. Um, I'm still not sure what they want to do, but I know I want to do it. Uh, I'd really like to do it this month. Um, any tips when designing a kick with a plugin like Metrum? I don't know. Uh, I don't know Kick Two. Um, so I can't really speak for that. But with Metrum, I don't know. It's it's really hard because I don't th I don't feel like there's no real like intuitive way to think about it. Like there's learning piano is intuitive in my opinion. You know, it's like tactile and there's a very direct correlation between like your physical actions and like what you're actually experiencing um, what you're hearing and with Metrum it's like I don't know it's weird um, I feel like with with sound design as far as I'm concerned like uh, I just like teaching myself how to do it um, and I mean that's pretty much what I did with Metrum uh, and yeah I mean like uh, what what I did initially was just like uh, try recreating kicks. And it was actually a pretty awesome learning experience. Is uh, a lot of the time uh, an impact that a kick has in a mix is um, uh, very different. Like the kick, the way it sounds in the context of the mix is actually very different than how it sounds on its own. Um, and it's almost I mean it's always true realistically, but like you know once once you like actually like recreate the sound I find it's always surprising to see like oh like I thought that that kick was so much longer than that or like um you know I thought that I thought the transient was so much so much louder but like no it's like you know uh, so it's just like it's just it's a cool learning experience um but I, I don't know if I have any particular tips for learning how to use it um I, maybe maybe uh, what I was saying earlier like finding a reference track and like trying to recreate um, a kick from a tune is a, that's a really good exercise and a great way to learn. Um, it's definitely like a pretty frustrating process, especially if you're not familiar with it at first. It took me a long time to get used to using it, but ultimately, like, you know, I mean, it, uh, Metrum is sick because, like, in the end, you're using one plugin, and I mean, thanks to Metrum, I can do stuff like like this, where I have an entire uh, like section like. I think quite a few different drum sounds. Um, you know, I'd say enough for like maybe three, three different kits total in one MIDI track. You know, and on top of that, they're all like. Uh, I mean, you don't have to use Metrum for this specifically, but um, and you know, you might say like, okay, well, some of them I don't have Metrum on. It's just audio, you know. So I could like render it. But the the nice thing is this way, it's all organized in in one track. And plus, if I do want to end up changing it, I can just go back to like the Metrum file, throw it in, and then change it. You know, if I'm like, oh, well, transient's a little too loud, or like, oh, I want the kick to be shorter, um, or have a different fundamental, or whatever. You know, it's like it's, it's really intuitive to work with. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all I got. Um,
Okay, I have to go to the bathroom real quick, and then I'll come back, and then I'm gonna bust out the vocoder and jam out. Let's do this. Um, okay, mic's on. Let's arm the right tracks real quick. I hope the delay isn't too bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the mic and switch over to the vocoder. Check one two, check one two, two ah uh, yeah. Check one two, 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 check one. Do 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 ah. Do yeah oh ah. Easy, ready, willing, over time. Where do you stop? Where do you draw the line? Thank you. 
white says nice. I can go for repeating the same old lines. You got my body, now you want my soul. through definitely some iffy moments there I was like forgetting some of the lyrics and stuff but it's fun stuff I really like uh, I really like the whole vocoder thing um, I've been thinking about that recently actually I kind of feel like um, that's that's the direction I want to push pretty hard with my music um, it's just a lot of fun to like uh, be vocally engaged too and I don't consider myself a singer, so um, I like the idea of kind of being able to sing through my keyboard playing, so it's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in today, I appreciate it. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited how, the, how this remix is coming together. Next steps are uh, filming some stuff, um, uh, I'm, go I'm just going to like do a bunch of different takes of me jamming um and uh yeah then i'm gonna try to work with my my boy zalian on getting some of the visuals done for it and then hopefully i'll have it uh, with you guys uh, or i mean i'll be able to share it with you guys sooner or later and yeah i'm super stoked but yeah i appreciate you guys tuning in again today um it was a good week it's been a good month actually i really like uh this regular streaming thing it's it's dope um, quick question before you go what do you use uh, to sidechain your stuff so um, the way I have my sidechaining set up is uh, as part of my template I have uh, in my drum rack in any drum rack that I build I have this dummy um, 
uh, click essentially. So it's just a dummy track for side chaining. So you notice like this utility here is mute, it mutes the actual sound. And here, this actually selects the, selects the key region that it's active in. So for example, for the hi-hats, obviously, um, I don't want the side chain to be activated. So the hi-hats are in the like this higher register, whereas like all the kick and snare hits and stuff are where the dummy um, sound actually hits. Um, and that is what I use to trigger sidechain and everything. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Whew. That was fun. Um, it's good times. Good times, stream. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to, to be back at it again next week. And another thing is, um, I mentioned that, um, I mentioned that, what did I mention? Oh yeah, so I have the schedule for like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, 1 to 3 p.m. PST for all of July. Um, it's looking like I might be able to pull off uh, something similar for August, but I do have a decent amount of shows in August as well. Um, so uh, it it's going to be difficult, but I think like the first two weeks, for example, of August, I'll be... I'll be able to do to do it um, or something very close to that at least um, luckily like a lot of the shows are like more on the weekend um, but it will probably seep into the schedule a little bit so I'll, I'll have to kind of play it by ear and let you guys know because um, for example I have a show on uh, July 30th and then 31st would is a Monday so realistically I'd want to stream again but um, I'm actually going to be driving back from the show and I don't know it's at like 4 a.m. so realistically it's actually not it's not Sunday it's on it's Monday morning <laughs> so uh, if I drive back after the show which will be until like 5 or 5 30 or something then I might be pretty exhausted and I won't be able to stream like you know a few hours later but we'll see um, I'm just gonna play it by ear if I'm feeling like super inspired or whatever after the show I'll just pop in and and start streaming but regardless I'll be able to stream quite a bit in August as well is my point and it's looking like the same is going to be true for uh, you know a lot of the months for the rest of the year to be honest I don't have any big tours confirmed so I'm excited to um, to chill and and write and hang with you guys and um, and yeah all right that's it for now um, I'm gonna go eat some pizza and get get some other stuff done and Hope you guys have an awesome day and you have an awesome weekend. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you on Monday. Peace.